go. All right, so today we are here with Vinny, the Jack Russell, and Heidi, the German Shepherd. And the primary reason the Guardians wanted um, me to come out was that Vinny, who's fairly new to them, they've only had him for about a month or so, was starting to become really reactive to the husband and the family. When at night, um, he would start to guard the bedroom. At first it was just guarding the bed itself and then it became guarding the bedroom entirely so he couldn't get down the hallway and Vinny would try to resource guard that area. So and to kind of help change some of this dynamic, we first want to implement some new rules and structure to his life and Heidi's as well, where they're not going to be on the furniture for a minimum of 30 days, including the bed, to help the um, guardians of the house establish their leadership position Dogs sit at um, a level of um, leadership, so if the dogs are on the couch in the furniture or on the bed, they are essentially trying to assert themselves as being equals. After the behavior has changed or 30 days have passed, they can be on the furniture with permission. Remember to, um, to help Vinny start to make a positive association with the husband, we're going to start by practicing having the um, the wife, the guardian, sitting in the bedroom holding on to Vinny to kind of get him excited. So then the husband's going to call him into the other room because the wife goes to bed first. And we're going to have her hold on to him at night and then have him call his name, call his name, and then have her let go and let him come running into the other room so he gets really excited to see him. He's going to make sure he has high, high value treats like the tricky trainers or some deli meat, anything that will be is very exciting to Vinny. So he starts to make a positive association. We don't want him to get to a point where he's resource guarding at all. We don't want to have to deal with it when he's already growling. So we want to completely change the dynamic into making only positive associations between leaving the bedroom on his dog bed, not on the bed, and coming to run out to see um, the husband. So what we'll do to help with that is again, starting off with just practicing this recall. That way, if the wife is sleeping, he can start to call Vinny's name out into the living room and give him treats. Make sure this is a really positive experience. Lots of treats. Grab an extra one so when you walk into the bedroom, you can give him another treat when, tell, um, when you put him on his bed, dog bed, give him a direction bed, or whatever you want to call it, and then um, give him a treat there as well. So his new association becomes how awesome it is when both of his guardians are in the bedroom with him and he gets food and he's very, very treat motivated. Now he, just like a lot of dogs, he, um, dogs all have flexible leadership systems, so he's only thinking of himself as a leader, resource guarding the bed at night when the female guardian is in the bed. He does not resource guard anything else or the bed at any other time period. So right now we couldn't practice this, so we're just walking through it to help the guardians make sure they know how to handle the situation. Remember, we don't want to give him the opportunity to start resource guarding. So start calling him into the living room at night before the husband starts to go down the hall. That way he doesn't get any opportunity to guard that space. Uh, we also went over the claiming the door exercise and I just want to refer to the refer the guardians to the Dog on Problem website. If you click on dog training tips, that'll bring you to all of our videos and our write-ups. If you go up into the right hand corner, there's a search bar and type in um, claiming the door. That will bring you to a bunch of videos to show you the exercise that we went over today. Have both dogs stay behind the invisible boundary so you can have guests arrive into your home without them invading their personal space. Remember to make sure when you're setting any invisible boundary that you and your husband are both on the same page about exactly where that is. So you have a clear idea of what that is, so the dogs have a clear idea of what that is. The next rule that you want to incorporate is to make sure that the dogs are sitting before they go out the door. You can slowly increase the duration that they have to sit before going out the door till you get to the point where you can open the door and they're waiting for a release word to then go through the door. That could take a little while. Remember that each dog has their own strengths. So for Vinny, this might be one that takes him a little longer to work up to compared to other things. Use the escalating consequences, sit, um, to disagree with him when he's invading your personal space or he's doing something else that you want to disagree with, and then use petting with a purpose to reward him for good behavior. You have about three seconds to reward him or disagree with him for it to be effective and for him to understand what you're communicating. Remember when you're using the escalating consequences that timing is really important. So as soon as he gives a 
he stops doing the undesirable behavior or he um, turns sideways, walks away, sits down or lays down, you stop right where you are. So if you're mid stride, stop there, pause. If he continues to be good, then turn away and leave. You want him to start to know exactly when he stops doing that undesirable behavior that it's over. That will help him understand what you disagreed with and what you're looking for. The last thing that we did is in the video above is we decided to go over how to help the dogs come to you when being off leash. Remember to bring lots of wonderful food. Remember, you always want to motivate your dogs. You want to be more interesting than whatever else is going on in their world. In home, in the house, when you're doing training, you could probably use some kibble, biscuits, things like that. But when you're outside of the house and there's more interesting things going on, you have to kind of up the ante. And to still incorporate making sure to um, use the structured feeding ritual that we went over, having Heidi eat first, that's the German Shepherd, and having him eat second. And just remember, everything you do trains your dog, only sometimes you mean it.